What's up, family? Welcome to Ask the My Ops. Where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. This right here is my heavy wife, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this right here is my interesting husband, Ayuse. <laughs> <laughs> Why I gotta be heavy? Cause you stop moving. You, you're moving the computer. My bad. The way you lean it on me. It's yeah, fine. I'm kind of sitting up on him. Mm -hmm. We're like in this chase, and I'm kind of sitting on you, yeah, on your lap a little bit, mm -hmm. kind of sort of. It's all good. Let's get to the question of the hour. We mm -hmm. are the Maats, and if I sound a little uh, low energy, it's because we just came from walking. Whoop whoop. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Yeah, we got some exercise on, so mm -hmm. that's a good thing. So I'm tired, and um, I just want to say that I had a beautiful time with you this weekend in the Shenandoah Valley. Mm -hmm. We had an awesome time. We got we away, and we spent some time together, and so I just want to shout my husband out for being present with me all weekend long. We mm -hmm. had good moments and all of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> and and I just want to say to those of you who are watching, make sure that you take uh, intentional time to be with one another. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you just got to get away. And sometimes that might just be in your own house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the living room, the family room, on the floor, whatever. You know, yeah. just mm -hmm. do what you got to do. But we're going to go ahead and get started and answer this quick question that came in from a wife who basically said, look, me and my husband are having a difficulty. We're having some uh, uh, disagreement about how often we need to be having sex. Mm -hmm. That's what she want to know. So she said straight up, how often should we be having sex? What should that look like? Is there a right number? Please give us the answer. Mm -hmm. What you got to say about it, babe? I mean, there really is no right number. I mean, but when you look at... Um, you know, statistics and stuff like that, what people say is that, well, when studies have been, have been done, it's been noted that on average people have sex or married couples have sex like twice per week mm -hmm. um, on average. And um, that seems to be like the norm. That seems to be like the trend. But as you go up in age, um, mm -hmm. past that 60, 65-year-old mark, it might decrease to, you know, one time or maybe a little bit more than one time. But around about two times per week is um, really what we're seeing in terms of, um, you know, studies. So, so, so then this is what you should know. If you're one of these couples that has sex once every three months, or you're doing it, you know, oh, it's been maybe like five times this year, mm -hmm. you know, while we say there is no magic number and there really is no normal, right, mm -hmm. the average is a couple of times a week. So maybe that's not y'all, but you certainly should not be in no once a quarter. No, you know what I'm no. saying? Once every three months mm -hmm. or anything like that. So mm -hmm. I don't know what y'all's frequency is, but just know that there is no real normal, mm -hmm. but there certainly is abnormal. Now, the thing that you want to keep in mind, too, is that when it comes to sex, sex might be twice per week, but the thing that you should be doing on a more consistent and more regular basis, at least every day, is engaging in some form of intimacy. Mm -hmm. um, so that can be, you know, a wink, uh, some eye contact, you know, a touch, a mm -hmm. kiss. Um, a phone call, a whisper. It could be Sitting any on one of those of things. Sitting on top of your husband yeah. or Chase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be any of that. But you want to make sure that you're constantly um, being intentional about connecting with your partner. So being intimate, again, is what should be a priority in your relationship. And through intimacy, you actually, it, it leads to greater sexual contact. Mm -hmm. So rather than focus on what's the right number of times, mm -hmm. rather than focus on are we hitting the right frequency, mm -hmm. focus on are we being intimate, are we being emotionally intimate, are we connecting, are we making sure that we're getting both of our needs met that way. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, then the frequency piece falls into place. It really does because you're both plugged into one another and you're both trying to make it happen for the other person within reason. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want you to focus on, sis, is ask yourself this. How am I attending to my man? How am I making sure that he is getting his needs met? Am I so committed to my own agenda of being right about the frequency that I'm not really focusing on what he really wants from me? And of course, the same goes for him, but you're the mm -hmm. one who wrote in, so I'm giving that answer straight to you. At the end of the day, it's really about connecting connecting. Sex is a way to connect. Getting close is a way to connect. Kissing is a way to connect. There is no real normal, mm -hmm. but there certainly is abnormal. So to make sure that y'all stay on the up and up, remember. You got to stop playing, y'all. Uh-huh. Start pushing. Start pushing.